Good morning, what's going on everybody? Let's go ahead, get that music rolling, get ready, get right to the workout. Crank that up. Awesome, how's everybody doing on this beautiful Tuesday? So I'll give you guys a second, give everybody time to log in. So real quick, gonna let you guys know what the workout is and what we're gonna need. So first and foremost, make sure we got our agua on deck. Then I got the clock off to the side right here. We're gonna need a few things today. And once again, these are always things, um, like I'm gonna make in all the videos, myself and other coaches, it's always gonna be equipment that you guys can swap out for a ton of different other things, okay? So, laundry detergent on deck. More laundry detergent on deck. Also, if you guys have a band like this or any kind of loop band, that'll work perfectly fine. Um, or if you happen to have a cable system at home, that'll work perfect. Or we actually don't even need a band, but if you need a little bit more resistance, this can definitely come in handy and help us later on. And the next thing what we're gonna have, since I have it, you guys aren't going to need it, but we're going to be using a deck of cards. This is gonna be for something fun. And I'm gonna show you guys right now. So let's go ahead and look at the board and you guys can either pause the video and take a screenshot or you could write it down or whatever you need to do to make sure that you guys have it. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip this around. And once again, you guys can use this um, anytime. All these videos are gonna be saved and embedded onto Facebook and also uploaded to YouTube. So this is the warm up. This is uh, what we got going on today. So for the warm up, we have the three way lunge. Uh, we're gonna be doing a hand walk plus push up, single leg pogo hops. Moving down to the core block, we're gonna be doing bear crawls, V ups, and weighted planks. Going down to block one, we're gonna be doing an alternating snatch. We're gonna be doing an overhead lunge and then donkey kicks, all right? Moving down to block two, we're gonna have pause squats. We're gonna have RDLs, a curl, plus a shoulder press, plus a tricep extension. Moving down to block three, which is gonna be um, a little bit more movement moving around, it's gonna be the card. So any face card is gonna be equal to five burpees. Ace through five, so essentially one through five, uh, is gonna be that number in cards or squat. So if we draw an ace, that's gonna be a one, so that's gonna be one squat. If we draw five, it's gonna be five squats. Similar with six to 10, the number of the card is going to be in push-ups. So if we draw a 10 card, it is going to be 10 push-ups. Same thing if we draw six, seven, eight, or nine, that's how many push-ups that we're gonna be doing for that. So once again, I'll keep this on here for just another second. That way you guys can take a screenshot or you guys can write it down, whatever you need to do. Do, and that way you guys can go ahead and grab your equipment and perfect gonna go ahead and flip that back around so go ahead get everything within arm's reach that we can access pretty easily and we are gonna go ahead get this workout rolling so we're gonna start with the warm-up and so between each block we're gonna take about a 30 second rest okay now in each one of these exercises they are gonna last for 30 seconds except once we get into block three we're gonna be actually be spending an entire minute down in block three which is the cards pile so for the deck because we're not gonna time how long um, going from burpees to push-ups to squats because we're not sure the duration of each one of those so we're just gonna go for a straight minute of just pulling out cards from the deck okay so let's go ahead and we're gonna get right into it starting with the warm-up so we got three-way lunge the way we're gonna do this three-way lunge we're gonna go forward we're gonna go backward and we're gonna go to the side okay so we're gonna go 30 seconds on each side and we'll keep that rolling and when we're doing this make sure that foot stay flat on the ground driving straight up same thing we can go back driving straight up through this other leg on the lateral lunge sitting down and back on that hip no outward pressure on that knee and good and let's go ahead and switch legs so we're on that left leg now nice big lunges forward side back forward back and side there we go make sure we're keeping this chest up nice and tall on these lunges really opening up those hips nice big lunges front back side getting everything nice and loose and we got one more then we're gonna be getting that hand walk to a push-up perfect so for that hand walk we're gonna walk it out and hit a push-up and we're gonna come right back up so we're gonna be hitting those hamstrings getting them loose stretching them out a little bit as we're warming up the upper body this is gonna be working our wrists our shoulders triceps and chest and for this make sure that you guys are keeping up with me and if there's ever a time where I'm stopping and continuously talk make sure go ahead to keep listening 
but keep moving the entire time, all right? And good, and we're gonna go right to the single leg pogo hops. So one foot, just right here in place as fast as we can. Just quick, 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 rapid recovery, getting that calf, glute, quad, hamstring, everything engaged, firing in that one leg, also helping, getting that heart rate moving, getting that heart rate up, all right? We got five seconds and we're gonna be switching legs. Three, two, one, and switch. Just nice little quick hops, hops, quick, quick, quick. Here we go. Make sure you're breathing, focusing, staying on the ball of that foot. Nice, quick, rapid recovery. Fast hops. We got 15 seconds. Then we're gonna have a 30 second rest. So between these blocks, we're gonna have 30 second rest each block. Six seconds. You gotta keep it up, keep it up. Keep going, three, two, one, and rest. So we got 30 seconds on the clock. Rest, go ahead and grab some agua. Then we're gonna be getting into the core section where we're gonna be starting with bear cross, V-ups, and weighted planks. So the bear cross, flat back, shins vertical to the ground. Boom, right here, moving nice and slow. We're gonna be going forward, backward, we can go side to side. V-ups, gonna be right here, meeting our legs. Feet halfway, weighted planks. I'm sure you guys know what that one is. All right, so we're gonna get right to the bear crawl. So we're gonna go start off by going forward. Core nice and tight, back nice and flat. Then we're gonna back it up. Good, now we're gonna be moving laterally, coming to the side. And with this, pretend that you have a hot cup of coffee on your back that you wanna make sure it's not going to spill, all right? We got four seconds, three, two, one, and we're gonna be right to the V-ups. One. Remember on this, breathe, and we're doing this, try to meet those legs halfway. And if you have to come up, so keep moving, make sure you guys keep moving even if I'm just talking. If we have to come up to just right here, that's perfectly fine. Ideally, if we can, we wanna make sure that we're coming all the way up and touching those feet right here, meeting it halfway, keeping those legs as straight as possible the entire time, all right? We got two seconds on the clock, let's get another one. Boom, and we're gonna get right to the weighted plank. The way we're gonna do that, we're gonna grab our resistance, we're gonna be right here in a plank position. We're gonna throw it up on our back and pop up. Woo! Make sure it does not slide off you, especially if you have a slippery shirt like mine and you're using a slippery surface or something like the laundry detergent, all right? So you can use your head, neck, keep that on there. We got five more seconds, four, three, keep that core nice and tight, engaged, don't let those hips say, and time. Awesome. So we got 30 seconds rest, then we're already into block one. The alternating snatch, the overhead lunge, and the donkey kicks, all right? So for the alternating snatch, we're gonna grab our resistance, or you guys can use your hand if you need to, if you have a kettlebell, dumbbell. Be right here, come up, pop, and get it overhead, and down. Switching arms. So once again, this is alternating. So it's gonna be 30 seconds for the entire time. The overhead lunge, we're gonna hold that overhead right here, and we're gonna just be lunging, going across. Then for the donkey kicks, we're gonna be down right here in a uh, bear crawl position, extending this leg up once again. If you have a cable, you can put it around your leg, or if you have a band, you could use that as well. So let's get to the alternating snatches. Once again, starting right here, coming up, popping the hips, getting overhead, coming down, and switching sides. All right, so we're gonna start together, starting in three, two, one, let's get it. And I'll show you guys side profile, this way you guys have an idea of what it's looking like. Popping those hips, putting that movement, that force, right in to our resistance, all right? And I would be locking this arm out, but my ceiling is a little low. So if you guys see it shifted in front of me and that fully locked out, that is why if I have a bend in my elbow, so I don't put a hole in my ceiling. All right, now to the overhead lunge. So you're gonna hold it overhead and lunges. If you guys have short ceiling, you can bend it down. You can hold it across your chest like this, whatever you need to, to be able to hold that resistance. If we can though, let's go ahead and put it overhead Reason being, we're gonna get be working more core stabilization. We're also gonna be working our shoulders. So shoulders are gonna have to work 
and the isolation movement as well and good now to the donkey kicks so if you have a band you can slip your foot in there very easy to change the resistance and once again right here up and kicking to the sky all right and let's get it we got 15 seconds left on the clock if you need more resistance grab that band pull it forward lock it underneath your hand like so or if you need less let go and let that band go back some then put it down put your hand down on that band wherever you feel like you need more resistance and good go ahead and switch sides and once again remember you do not need a band you could do this with just your body weight you don't have to have any resistance very easy to modify but if you have a band I recommend using it you just get a little bit more out of it you won't have to do quite as many reps and if you have a cable system you could use that if you have any other kind of bands you could usually figure out a way to kind of make it work it's a great one good for the glutes and hamstrings and good 30 seconds rest oh my goodness this is moving quick now we're gonna be moving out to block two which is the pause squats the RDLs and the curl plus press plus tricep extension so pause squat we're gonna be squatting down pausing holding that position RDLs we've done in the past together simply hinging at the hips the curl plus a press plus a tricep extension that's pretty much what it's gonna look like so for these pause squats let's go ahead we're gonna get right into it we're gonna start in three two one and go so we're gonna go down we're just gonna do a pause back up doesn't have to be anything crazy down up so basically just like a two count down one two back up down one two back up side profile chest is up back up keeping 45 degree in that chest right getting nice and low back up get down as deep as you can back up getting nice and low getting a good pause back up and good now we're getting to those RDLs and this is gonna be a double leg RDL so legs are gonna be right here slight bend in the knee chest is out shoulders are back hinging at the hips make sure we don't collapse and round that back all right let's keep that going pushing those hips back you should feel a nice good stretch all in those hamstrings you'll even feel it behind that knee even through that calf muscle this is a great exercise for building up specifically the hamstrings it's also going to be working our core because we're using it to keep our body up but also our spinae erector which is helping also keep our upper torso up and keeping our body our back from rounding, keeping us from hunching, all right? So we're gonna be working a lot of that low back. So this is a great one to help strengthen the hamstrings and the low back as well, all right? Good, we got a few more seconds. Then we're gonna get right to the curl, the plus, plus tricep extension. And good, let's get right to it. So we're gonna hit you right here. Curl, press, tricep extension, right back down. Curl, press tricep extension right back down I'm gonna scoot back a little bit curl press tricep so same exact motion just in reverse up come down from that and down and if you have one laundry detergent bottle if that's if that's what you're using once again you guys can use the band that I was using for the donkey kicks or you guys can use dumbbells you can use plates book bags cans of paints small animals no matter what you guys got we can make it work but if one has a little bit more weight than the other go ahead and switch it up that way they get equal amounts of work make sure we're squeezing those biceps as hard as we can coming down as low as we can on that tricep extension so side profile curl press tricep boom boom and boom perfect and we got 30 seconds of rest on the clock time is flying today we're already bl through block two we're getting into block three here very shortly so I got my deck of cards ready for everybody. Funny, Ace is right there. So we're just gonna be drawing these cards randomly. Remember, this one is going to last for a full minute. So if we get a face card, that's gonna give five burpees. If we get an Ace through five, essentially one through five, that's gonna be however uh, the value of that card in squats. If it's six through 10, it's going to be the value of that card in push-ups, all right? Let's go ahead, we'll just mix this deck up just a little bit for you guys. 
do a little fancy shuffle for you guys. Might may or may not have been a magician for a little bit before. All right, so let's get to it. One last final cut. Let's go ahead and start drawing from the deck. Let's see what we got starting now. So we got two. So since it's gonna be ace through two, that's how many squats we have. One, two. Next card, let's see what we got. Boom, we got another two. We got two more squats. One, two. Let's see what we got next. We got four. That's four more squats. One, two, three, and four. Beautiful. Let's see what we got next. We got five. So we're still in the squat. That is the peak of the five. I'm, I'm sorry, that's the peak of the squats. Two, three, four, and five. Let's see what we got next. Boom, three, three more squats. Let's get it burning out these legs today. One, two, and three. Also remember, I want you guys to do three rounds. Do two rounds with me, one round on your own. We got 10. So we got 10 push-ups. Let's get it. One, chest and 10, touch the ground. Two, three, four, full lockout. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Time on the clock. Now we got 30 seconds of rest before we move into round two. So once again, remember, Go ahead, either pause the video right now, hit a second round, and you guys can repeat what we just did with the cards, and then finish off the third round with me, or do the first two rounds with me, and then go back and do another round. That way you guys are getting a total of three rounds, okay? So with these cards, we are going to put them at the bottom of the deck, so that way we don't draw them. We wanna get different fresh cards each and every single time, all right? Enjoy some agua. Before we get back to it, and we're gonna start all the way back from the top, starting with the warm-up three-way lunge, hand walk plus push-up, and the single leg pogo hops, all right? All right, and right back to it. Forward lunge, reverse lunge, lateral lunge. This is that three-way lunge. The very first thing we're doing in that warm-up, all right? Sitting down and back on that hip. Driving through that entire foot. Remember, three points of contact, big toe, little toe, and that heel, all right? Nice, even disbursement of weight throughout those three points of contact. There we go. We got four seconds, three, two, one, and go ahead, switch sides. Same thing on the other side. Good, down and back on the hip. Perfect. Go we'll keep it up, remember, keep that core engaged throughout the entire exercise, keep it our torso up nice and tall the entire time all right forward back to that side once again also if you need a little resistance go ahead grab your laundry detergent dumbbell kettlebell plate whatever you got you can hold that right at your chest for a little bit more resistance and good right to those hand walks with the push-up boom right in your face coming right back coming right back boom chest and chin touch the ground every single repetition we got 18 seconds on the clock. So each round, try to push yourself. Try to get a few more reps. Then the last round, all right? Challenge yourself. Each and every single workout. A little bit better. Let's get one more in. Boom, right back up to the pogo hops. Starting on that right leg. Quick pogo leg hop. Just quick, rapid fire on that calf. Getting some good work in. Quick, rapid, explosive on that leg, all right? Get that power, get that leg nice and warm. Should be feeling it in those glutes and hammies by now. Should be burning. We got 10 more seconds. Firing on that leg, firing on that calf, feel free. Move around, go to the side, go forward, go backward. Whatever you're feeling, all right? Three, two, one, switch sides. Quick, rapid recovery. Go and move around with it, have fun. Go in circles. Fast, slow, rapid recovery movements, all right? We got about 16 seconds left on the clock. Then we're gonna have 30 seconds rest before we're getting right back into that core block. Keep firing that leg. We got 10 seconds, let's go. Quick, fast hop, fast hops, keep going. Five, four, three, two, one, and 30 seconds rest. Go ahead, grab yourself some agua and make sure we're staying hydrated. How's everybody doing this morning? Drop a thumbs down or a fire emoji or a muscle emoji if you guys are working out with me. Go ahead and drop that right now. We got about 15 more seconds of rest. Get right back to the core box. Remember, bear crawl, the V-ups, and the weighted planks, all right? Also, you could use a band for weighted planks. 
I'll show you guys on this next one, all right? So let's get right back to the bear cross and go. Core nice and tight, nice small movements. So we're gonna go forward, then we're gonna go backward, then we're gonna be going side to side, all right? Keep my glutes and hamstrings in the, in the shot right there for it. Coming back, and let's go ahead. Gonna be moving laterally to the side right here. Core nice and tight. Everything's nice and engaged. Your core should be burning from this. That's how much engaged this should be. That's how tight and strong we should be flexing our core muscles as much as possible, all right? Getting ready. We're gonna be right back to the V-ups. So remember, once again, coming up, reaching for those toes. Modification, if we gotta reach under our legs, come up right here. That's fine. We're coming in front of our knees as well. That's fine. Or if we need to break it down to just a simple sit up, that's fine if we need even further. If we can only do a crunch, that's acceptable as well, all right? So let's go ahead and finish up. Last bit of time with these full V-ups. Three, two, one, and good. So weighted plank. Let me show you guys how to do it with the band real quick in case you don't have any other resistance. Go ahead, put it around your shoulders just like that. And you're gonna go ahead, grab it with your hand. And you're gonna be up, oop, slipped out on me. Put it behind my elbows. Boom, right there. Give me that core nice and tight and engaged. Lock down on this band. And if you need more resistance, you just simply pull on the band more. That way there's more tension on it. And keep that core nice and tight. And time. Perfect, 30 seconds rest. Then we're gonna get into back into block one, which is the alternating snatch, the overhead lunge, and the donkey kicks. So I'm gonna keep my band nearby, keep my resistance nearby. That way I can use it for the various exercises. All right, we got about 10 seconds, starting back with that alternating snatch. And let's get it, make sure your cap is on nice and tight. Three, two, one, let's get it. Alternating. Remember, keeping that chest up. We're not hunching over as we're alternating. I'll show you guys from the side once again. Chest stays up, popping those hips, driving it up, popping those hips, letting them come straight up. Your body, once again, my arm's a little bent because my ceiling's low. I'm trying not to put a full hole through it, so. We want it locked out, ideally, right there, just like that, all right? Keep it going, and perfect. Right through that overhead lunge, keeping that weight overhead, locked out as high as you can, depending upon your ceiling. And we'll turn it around. Same thing coming on back. I'm gonna take smaller steps so that way I can just stay on screen a little bit longer. Remember, nice big steps, driving through that heel. We want to avoid any super excessive knee over the toe, all right? So try to keep that shin as vertical as possible. And perfect. So moving right back down to those donkey kicks, we're gonna grab that band. We're gonna slip our foot in. We're gonna hold it, simply put our hand down on it right here and kick back. Just nice big kick. So if you've heard of a, a donkey kick or kickbacks, these are the same thing, blue kickback right here. Once again, this can be done with a band, a different kind of band, doesn't have to be this one with the loop on it. It can also be done with a cable, it's a great exercise. You can also use machines that you load up with um, plates and you do a kickback on it as well, or even a reverse GHR. You can load that up and use it as well. And good. We're gonna go ahead and switch sides. And get 30 seconds on this side. And ready, let's get it. Nice big kicks, really extending that leg up as high as you can. So if I show you guys a rear view, I want you guys to have full extension, that leg kicking up nice and high getting that heel up to the sky, all right? We got a few more seconds. Two, one, and rest. Good, 30 seconds. We're getting into block two. Pause squats, RDLs, and that curl, plus shoulder press, plus tricep extension, all right? Easy E, what's going on, my man? So everybody get ready for these pause squats. Maybe two seconds, pause squats. Let's get it. One. Two, up, nice and low, one, two. And once again, you guys can hold your resistance across your chest. You guys can hold it right here, wherever you want. You can even hold it right here in your arms, at your side, depending upon what you guys got. So just two second pause squats, back up, down. Back up, getting nice and deep, really getting a good stretch in those legs. Driving up, squeezing those glutes at the top, 
Driving up, fire and squeeze. Everything, engaging the entire body. And good, right back to those RDLs. Remember, slight bend in the knee, or like you're carrying groceries in, you're going to push the door in, but you can't use your hands. Boop, that's the position you want to be in. Then we're simply hinging as if you're reaching for your toes, maintaining a neutral spine, making sure we're not collapsing the chest, we're not bending over, we're not rounding that low back, keeping it nice and safe, all right? Targeting those hamstrings. It's also going to be secondarily hitting those spinae erector because it's keeping our spine nice and erect, all right? Once again, dumbbells, kettlebells, book bag, box, a rope, plates, bottles of water, jugs, gallons, cement, concrete, no matter what you got, you guys can make this work, right? So there's no excuses. We'll be able to get these workouts in at home no matter what equipment we have. There's tons of modifications for each and every single exercise. And perfect. And we're gonna get right to those curls, plus press, plus tricep extension. All right, so we're gonna remember once again, we're gonna be right here, curl, press, tricep extension, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down. Squeeze those biceps as hard as you can, press up as high as you can, get that extension, try to get those arms as low as you can, all right? So if you have healthy shoulders and healthy elbows, get down as low as you can right here, okay? Stand it back up, down, boom, boom, up, down, up, down, and perfect, all right? Now we got 30 seconds of rest on the clock. Finishing off, I can't believe it already. We're already into our last round. Our last block of our last round. Can you guys believe that? It's absolutely crazy, it's ludicrous. So block three is gonna be the card. So remember, once again, face card is gonna give us five burpees. Ace or one through five is gonna be that number in cards, that number value in cards is gonna be squats. Six through 10 is gonna be that number card value in push-ups, all right? So got the deck right here. Let's go ahead, we'll start. We will wait three, two, this one's gonna be a full minute, one, and let's get it. Ace, so that's just one, so that means we just got one squat. One squat, boom, let's see what we got next. Next up we got four, so we got four more squats. One, two, three, and four, perfect. Let's see what we got next. We got eight, so now we are in the push-up range. Eight push-ups. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good, let's see what we got next. Three, so now we have three squats. Let's get it. Let's see if we'll get a face card. One, two, and three. We got about 23 seconds. There we go, there's our face card. So we got five burpees, let's get it. One, two, three, four, five. We got 10 seconds. Let's see if we can get a couple more. So we got eight, eight push-ups. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's do one more for good measure. We're out of time, but we're gonna get one more anyway. We got five that's still in the squat range. Let's get it. One, two, three, four, and five. Woo! That's what I'm talking about. Nice work. Shout out to everybody who's with me live right now, getting that workout in, getting your swole on, on this beautiful Tuesday morning. How are you guys feeling? So, once again, I'm just gonna stay live for another minute, let you guys know what's going on. So, T3 and the other coaches, myself, Monday through Friday, we're our live streaming. In case this is your guys' first time catching this video or you guys never heard of T3 before, check out our website. We're on, we got our website, we got YouTube, we got Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. We're on all the social media platforms, okay? We are an elite athlete, an adult, and one-on-one -on -one personal training facility, okay? No matter what your needs are, we have a coach that can help you get there. And so what we're doing, because of the unfortunate events of COVID-19, right? So we can't be in the gym, we can't be training people. We are live streaming workouts Monday through Friday. So we have an eight o'clock full body workout. Nine o'clock, we have a speed workout. 10 o'clock, we have another full body workout. Also, in addition to that, we know that people, some people are still working, they're busy, and some people, they definitely go back and watch these videos again, because they're embedded on YouTube and Facebook. You guys can go over and watch them over and over again, whenever and wherever you want. Um, but people like doing it live, they like being able to interact, and they weren't able to make the morning times. So we listen to you guys, we made it happen. So on Tuesdays and Thursdays, we have more full body workouts. 
So Tuesday, Thursday at 6 p.m. That way, if you guys aren't able to hit any of the morning times, you guys can hit the evening times. Tuesday, Thursday, 6 p.m., Coach Richards is live doing full body workouts with minimal equipment, okay? So that means if you guys have even a single dumbbell, if you have a single kettlebell, a single plate, no matter what it is, a piece of equipment, you guys will be able to do these workouts, all right? And they're very easily um, able to be modified, and Coach will be giving modifications and directions and cues and everything as he's going through the demonstrations of the exercise and the videos, okay? So, once again, I'm gonna put out the challenge, okay? And if you've done it, comment down below or reach out to me on any of the social media platforms letting me know that you've done it. So I want you guys to pick a day before, and I'm upping the challenge, so there's two challenges, okay? So you guys can either do three workouts in one day. So that's gonna mean the eight o'clock, the nine o'clock, and the 10 o'clock, okay? So that's essentially Monday, Wednesday, or Friday. You guys could do that. That's three workouts in one day. They're gonna be back to back to back. That way you guys are gonna get tons of great work in. You're gonna burn a ton of calories and you're definitely gonna be sore by the end of it. That I can guarantee. But, but if you guys wanna take it one step further, if you guys think you are savage, if you think you're an animal, if you think you are up to the task, if you're up to the challenge, if you wanna challenge and push yourself, I challenge you guys to do four, not three, but four workouts in one day. That can be done on Tuesday or Thursday. As I said, we added a six o'clock class. So what's that mean? That means on Tuesday and Thursdays, we have an eight o'clock, we have a nine o'clock, we have a 10 o'clock, and we have a six o'clock. So that is a potential for four workouts in one day. So I challenge you guys to try that. You are gonna burn a ton of calories, right? Especially if we're sitting at home and we don't have anything else going on. I highly recommend you guys do it, okay? You guys are not gonna regret it. You're gonna feel so much better after it. You're gonna feel accomplished. You guys are gonna be feeling on top of the world because you guys crushed it, okay? So I challenge you guys to do that. So that's gonna conclude this video. We will be live right back at it tomorrow morning. And make sure you guys are saying what's up. Reach out to us on Instagram. Reach out to us on Facebook. Let us know how your guys' quarantine's going, all right? We will see you guys next time.